What's up guys, Nolan Ninja Warring Aviators and Superman have bringing you yet another episode of the combat logs or weapon logs I should say, not combat logs, weapon logs here on the Modern Ninja channel. This time we're going to go over one of my newest purchases, the uh, extendable staff. So let's get into it. Alright, so uh, the extendable staff is actually really cool. There's a couple good benefits to it, a couple good negatives to it, and I'm going to go over both. But first, I, I want to show you how to open this. Now, this is kind of dangerous because it's made of thin metal, and so when it shoots out, it's kind of sharp. But something you're going to realize is there's two parts to this. There is the knob right here. This is basically the button you push to unlock it, and the pin here on a spring right there. Now, I'm going to show the camera just like that. Now, there's a spring and a pin. Now that pin has to be pulled in order for you to pull it out. But you don't pull it like a grenade. You don't pull the pin. What you're going to do is you're going to take it in two fingers. You're going to push this knob right here until you hear the click of the pin coming loose. Just like that. Now once that pin has come loose, that is when it's okay to let go. What you're going to do is you're going to let go with your hand and wait for it to open and then you're going to grab it. It's almost instant. Just like this. Just like that. So as you can see, it opened up all the way. Occasionally, it will open up uh, slightly messed up, and all you have to do is just rewrap it, and it's just fine. But this is a, not a bad staff. Now, a couple things are uh, to note is that it's not perfectly weighted. The, the center of the bow staff is just to the right of it, barely, and that may not sound like a lot. If you're doing tricks and the stuff that I like to do with it, that's going to be something to take note of because doing the tricks when it's slightly off weighted makes you have to re you know compensate for the entire thing so doing hard tricks is near impossible while doing easy tricks just takes a little more concentration so that is something to uh, keep in mind now how to close it a lot of people don't realize how to close it so all you're going to do you're going to take your hand at the top where the uh, rotate is and you're going to twist your right hand underneath it now it's only a couple inches at a time i'm not trying to do feet at a time and I'm just rotating it right hand clockwise or counterclockwise as I push it down just like this all the way until you get to the bottom. I know this is going to be kind of bumpy. I hope I don't knock my phone down. Just like that, keeping your hand or your thumb on top just so it can stay even. Now, once you get it down, you're going to push that pin back over top just like that. And that's how you get it down um, to its small state. And again, you might have some, you know, it be set off. You can just push it together. And again, make sure you're safe with it because it will cut you if you're not careful because it's, it's a thin metal, it's a thin metal um, sheet. So it will cut you. That is the biggest thing you want to keep beware of. But other than that, it's a really cool um, toy. It's a really cool weapon. I don't want to call it a weapon because it's not going to actually help you in a fight. It bends and breaks too easily. But as far as doing tricks and showing off for your friends, this is definitely something cool to get. Uh, whether it's showing off for your friends, doing magic tricks, or even just kind of needing something to be able to do tricks randomly, even if you're on a trip. So let's say I was driving home, I saw a cool spot, I can just bang, pop this thing open, and be ready to trick anytime I wanted to. So definitely something to look forward to, definitely something to look into if you like this kind of stuff. I hope you guys like this video and if you want to see more weapon logs definitely let me know down in the comments and hit a like on this video so that I know you guys liked it. Until next time, my name is DJ Moore, this is the Modern Ninja and I'm out.